in uh, this video, I will show you how to install um, Connector for ArcGIS on your mobile device or on an Android. It's relatively similar on the iPhones. And I will also show you how to log in and how to access your data. So um, first of all, if I now switch to my Android and say install a software, and I want to install Collector. It's Collector for ArcGIS. The one I want to install. So this one. There's also a new beta version I haven't tried it yet. It's probably also fine. But um, I'll just use the, the standard version here and install it on my um, laptop. It will ask me to accept identify so if that's reasonable of my play, where I am so that's a GPS GPS mapping uh, access to uh, images so I can attach images and um, and Bluetooth connection so I can upload things or Bluetooth so all of these I guess are reasonable um, so we'll just accept them and it will start uh, installing it so now it's finished we have this open possibility um i'll just uh, close it down so uh and go to my general app collection um so we have it installed here i can launch it and it will say login let's leave this because this is the login you can see arcgs.com this is the login to ArcGIS Online. So leave that, say continue, and log in with your credentials. So uh, I'll use the same uh, course user. And uh, so once you are logged in, it will um, give you access to the up here under collections. We have all maps and we have for all maps, we have those that you only own. So this is this one. And we have the ones that are shared in the group. Okay. So in this case, I'm interested in this one. It has the ability to, I can say, download which is what I need to do if I want to go offline. So uh, I say, okay, I want to uh, use uh, Amazon. I have a, apparently a topographical map on my device. I just say I want to create a new background image, my air photograph. And I'll then uh, zoom in and out until I find the area I want to work on. Um, so let's say this is where I want and I will choose this area then I can choose how precise what is the what is the most detail so I'll zoom in so I get a map at that level of detail I need and I can then choose this download I will then start downloading my background map for this area So once it has um, finished uh, my its download, it um, is ready. Synchronize means that it is it's up to date with the server. So if I now go in, click it, I can uh, add data points. It will start by placing because I'm indoors and therefore the GPS is at the moment a bit strange. Um, this one indicates that there's no GPS coordinate. It would be green if there was a nice GPS coordinate. And I could click this icon up here to locate, focus on where my I am. In this case, I'll just uh, focus on uh, my map and zoom in. You can see the data points from uh, I created before. Uh, so I had my point up here. A little green dot here, discussion of 
how large I should make them. You can see I should probably have made them larger than I did. And uh, my hedge row will also be here, shown over here. The principle is the same. I can uh, I can click. This is my point layer of my uh, recycling locations. So I can do exactly the same as before. I know there is a recycling location up here. So I can choose the, the, my point. It's again waiting for the GPS to try to move based on this. If so, oh, I'll just uh, I'll just uh, accept here. So it's saying, well, I can't get the GPS at the moment. Um, that's fine. So um, if I now want to use my point, I'll place it here. You see my dot. And I can say this is a plastic. And you see again, it's a drop down. Or I can type on my on key type thing here. Uh, and uh, I can, if I want, I can make an attachment. And I can use the camera. So I go a wee bit meter here and uh, and take a image of my recording set up here. So um, like that. That's fine. So now I have attached the image um, for my object. And once I'm finished, I press the little correct. And now the data is being um, handled back. So I have my, again, if I want, I can choose this one, my point. That's the one that's selected. I always choose this one down here, hopefully. This one. This uh, corner here it gives me the ability to edit it if I want to move it to anything else. I can add new point, new elements by the plus, And I can then you draw in a stream if... Uh, say um, where we have a stream nowadays we have a stream here so I'll just add a stream oh. here so um, I've added my element any comments um, This was not right, so I have added my comment, and I press my little right. You can see now I have a, a um, it's saying I, it knows where I am within um, within this distance, so that's why it's uh, it's making a point here outside my object. So that's fine with me. That's just because I do not have um, this air covered on my air photograph here. So this is where I am outside the. The area. So that's basically uh, it. I have uh, created my data. If I um, now go back to my uh, my project, you can see it here says oh, I clicked up in the corner. It says I have two points here that I would like to synchronize. So if I press this synchronize, it will now upload these two points to uh, my ArcGIS online, where I hopefully will be able to see them. So if I now switch to ArcGIS Online and go to my content and open my map. Yeah, yeah. Um, we will see that we hopefully have in addition to those original points, also have our stream and this point up here. And if I click on this point here, you will see that it has an attachment I can click on. And here's a picture I took in the field. So um, basically, it's relatively simple to collect data on the tablet loaded into our uh, ArcGIS online and then work it from there. So that's the basics of using the uh, mobile app.